So you might be in a position where you want to go ahead and turn off your screen time passcode, but you may have forgotten the passcode. So and this is really only be going to be good if you're actually the owner of this iPhone. Like if you're somebody who just went ahead and you know, you're like your parent locked your iPhone or whatever the case is, unless you know your passcode, you're not going to be able to do it. So keep that in mind. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is again, if you don't remember the passcode, try typing it in, but if you can't you know, recall, all we're going to have to do, we have two options. The first option is probably the best one. The second option is one you probably don't even want to do. So make your way over to your settings application. You then want to scroll down until you see screen time, which is right here. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down and under change screen time passcode, all we want to do is go and click this. Now we want to go and click change screen time passcode when that pop-up comes up. Now you might be asking yourself, well, if we don't know the passcode, how are we going to go ahead and recover it? Well, what you can do is when you get into this panel, you can click on forgot passcode right here. Some people don't even see that. It's kind of crazy because it's like blends in so well. So all you want to do is go and click on forgot passcode. And now it's going to basically allow us to recover our passcode. So in this case, all you're going to want to do is type in your Apple ID. So this is basically the same email and you know password that you have that basically are associated with this iPhone. So the same exact email that you have, for example, if you go and swipe out of here, if you kind of forgot it, you can always go back up here. And this email address that you have associated with this account, you can go ahead and type in there. You want to type in your passcode as well. And that is how you're going to basically recover it. So whenever you type in those specific you know, information, your Apple ID and your passcode, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to type in your new passcode or recover this passcode. And that is basically all you're going to have to do. Now, if you forgot your Apple ID or password, you can also click here. And then I guess we'll see. So we'll forgot password. So you're going to have to type in your email. Then you're going to have to go through there. If you forgot your Apple ID, you're going to have to click forgot Apple ID. So there's a lot of stuff here. So hopefully you remember at least your Apple ID. If you don't, then you can go and you know recover it via those instructions. Now, the other way to do this, which is a way I wouldn't recommend doing at all, is to factory reset your iPhone. So if you want to delete everything from it, I wouldn't recommend doing it. You can also back up everything on your iPhone first and then reset it, but it's not really worth it you should be able to recover your passcode, you know, hopefully that way. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.